again. It's Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit here on MAV TV, talking sprint car racing, our favorite time of the week. And we are so glad that you are spending some time with us, zooming our way through the pandemic. Ashley Strummy and Steve Post. Ashley, how are you? I am doing great. I mean, obviously, this is the one time of the week that I have to get dressed from the waist up. But it came with spring cars this time, so I'm super excited. <laughs> we we had sprint cars on the track last weekend. Oh my gosh, thank God. Thank you, Terry McCarl. Thank you, Ever Speed Shift TV. Man, I'll tell you what, it was just good to have the family back together, if you will. You know, it was I know some people had issues with speed shift. I know it took a little bit, but you know. They knew there was going to be thousands of hundreds of thousands of people joining in, and I'm sure they had even all their I's and T's dotted and crossed, but there was still that one time that you forget that cooler when you're headed to the racetrack or you forget your grocery list when you go to the grocery store. But it was so good to see sprint cars, to hear Chet Krisner. The world just, it felt good for that one evening, I can tell you that much. It really, truly did, and the Modifieds didn't look bad, particularly that lethal chassis that parked on the front stretch at the end. How about that? Yeah, um, obviously, we were tuned in for several reasons, that being one of them. Yes, Ricky Thornton, one of our customers, a phenomenal racer, he actually raced the following night and parked it again in victory lane. So he's two for two in his brand new race car, so we're pretty happy about that as well. And I'm sure he is as well. That is really great stuff. Hey, Donnie Schott's going to join us. Can't wait to talk to the multi-time champ for the World of Outlaws. Let's talk a little bit more, though, about Saturday night. It was Park Jefferson International Speedway. Toby Cruz and Chet Christner with a call on Speed Shift TV. It's our Dry Dean Diesel all death defying move of the week. And now for the Dry Dean death defying move of the week, where one driver simply amazes us with their on track moves. I love it. What a battle we've got on our hands. Eight to go this time by the line. They're two wide ahead lap cars. Oh, Reitzel takes a shot at him to the top side. There didn't even Reitzel. Caution is out. We got one on the side in turn. For watch Zerfoss and Eck. Austin McCarl as well. Look at this. Zerfoss is there now. Manson. Oh, Manson right in the back bumper. Right on Zerfoss to the top spot. That deaf defying move was brought to you by Dry Dean Diesel All Deaf, the official deaf of the world of outlaws and wheelmen everywhere. Visit drydean.com for more information. Team Dryden. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit here on MAV TV. Talking sprint car racing, Ashley Stremme and Steve Post. And Donnie Schatz from Tony Stewart Racing joins us on the Hercules Tire Hotline. Hello, Donnie. Welcome into Wing Nation. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Nice day here. Beautiful. Well, glad to hear that. Um, how is Donnie Schatz surviving the uh, the pandemic we're all dealing with? You know, as uh, much as I hate to admit it, I'm having the time of my life. Um, you know, I've got to spend a lot of time with my family. Um, I can't remember any time in my life where you just knew you weren't going to be going anywhere for one, two, three, four weeks, whatever it was. And uh, there was no coming or going anywhere. So, you know, we've taken this time to do a lot of little projects, um, help my mom and dad get their basement put back together, and just little things I never thought I'd do. I've tried to cut off a few fingers in the saw and in all this, but uh, just making the best of it, whatever you can do to stay busy. And uh, I stay busy anyway, but uh, it's been if, – if we go back racing, it'll give me a chance to slow back down. So looking forward to it. And, of course, you've been sharing these adventures along the way, and I know that we've enjoyed it. I know the race fans are probably absolutely loving it because they can't see racing right now. You've done so much. Concrete countertops. Um, you're a chef. You name it. You've done it all. You said yourself you about cut some fingers off. So what's the next project that you're putting on your to-do list? Well, 
we're finally nice here. It's nice outside in North Dakota. We're in the 60s and the snow's finally melted as of yesterday under some of my trees. So, you know, you always got to get that spring cleanup. I've, that's the next on my list. Um, really, uh, I, I talked to the guys today. They're ready to get back testing. I think there's a few places we can go do some short track testing. So um, I still got a lot of projects to do. Um, I'd like to do my basement bar area, but um, if I get to it, I get to it. If not, um, just try to try to keep busy and get some things settled up. Um, really, right now, I'm enjoying the being outside, and it's it's giving me uh, giving me race fever real bad. No doubt, no doubt, that's for sure. Donnie, um, I joked around with Aaron uh, Everham on our Tuesday show when we uh, when we recorded that this week, and I said this has been so much fun because social media darling Donnie shots okay with the with the Donnie Hanna with the counters and everything like that um what's you you were you've been such a quiet guy you've been such a stay to yourself guy you've been such a focused guy do you do you ever sit back and say hey I'm not even sure why I'm doing this but it's pretty cool you know there's a lot of people out there that use the social media for different things um some guys try to get as many followers as they can some people try to get people to like them I'm not doing either. Um, if you want to see who I am, uh, if there's something that I care to share um, that, that's not, you know, crossing the line, I, I have no problem sharing it. I, I like sharing certain things. Um, there's certain things that honestly do not belong on social media and, and you don't need to see certain, certain things like that. And I think we're really finding that out now with some of the things that have gone on with iRacing and some of this other stuff. So it's, um, you know, I, I have fun with it. But as long as it's something you can have fun with and, and have somewhat control of, I think it's it's okay. Um, you know, I am who I am, uh, and, and that's the way that some people don't get to see me every day, get to stay attached to that. And uh, I'm definitely not going to be somebody just for social media or be a certain way. You know, it, if it's something I'm thinking, it's, you know, I'll do my best to bring it across. But I, I definitely struggle with it a bit too because, um, you know, it's like I've told my daughter before the world doesn't revolve around social media. The, the world revolves around you as a person and, and how you make your living and, and your happiness and all that. So social media is just a, an innocent bystander that's, that comes along with it. That is so very well said. And, you know, the stuff that you've been sharing has been great. But the Donny Hanna, I'm, I literally probably <laughs> spit my soda out when I watch. Absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. I'm just curious how the food turned out that night. It was pretty incredible. The, the problem I have with cooking, I love my Donnie Hanna thing. I, my mom even got me a sign for Christmas that says Donnie Hanna's Bar and Grill. Um, I love fried rice. I love doing all that stuff. But I have a real problem with portions. There was only a couple of us eating that night. And I made 10 cups of rice. And I think I ended up throwing nine cups away a week later when I, even after I had eaten it for lunch several days as leftovers. So I got to work on that a little bit. But um you know, I have a lot of fun with it. It's, it, it did taste great. And, you know, every, every time you do it, it's a new adventure because I never write anything down. I just, this much soy sauce, this much, this, you know, and, and, uh, one day it's good. One day uh, you tell yourself it's good and it's really not. There you go. Is there a, is there another, is there another specialty food that you like beyond the Donny Hanna stuff? Is there, is there something else you, you enjoy cooking as well? I'm not a big cook, but when I do, I, I normally go with flames in some, some way, shape, or form. I like grilling out a little bit. Um, you know, sometimes in the summer when the kids come over, you, have, you know, let them go for a swim and uh, do burgers and brats. I'm not, I'm not a big chef by any means, but it's, you know, the teppanyaki stuff has always been something that I've been enamored as a kid, and I know my nieces and nephews love it, and we all have fun. It's just a fun way to cook. Everybody gets involved and has a smile and a laugh. So. Um, it, if it can be cooked on there, I can definitely give it a try. I can't make any promises that it's going to be good or uh, I'm not going to start up any home delivery services, but um, we have a good time with it. And that's the, that's the whole point. That's for sure. That's what all that matters. Hey, we need to step away. Donnie, hang in there with us. Everyone else stick around. More with Donnie Shots in just a moment. Hey, Ashley, what are you up to? Oh, I just stopped by to grab some sage fruit apples. Now I just have to decide which ones. You can never go wrong with a Honeycrisp. They're light, crisp, and full of perfectly balanced flavor. Oh, hey! You could always go with one of their classics, the Gala or Fuji. They're both sweet and juicy. Grown in the heart of Eastern Washington, Sage Fruit Company works hard on the farm and with their retail partners to provide high quality apples and pears to consumers all year long. Well, I couldn't decide which ones. Thanks for the help, guys. 
I'll race you to the checkout. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit here on Mav TV. On the Hercules Tire Hotline via Zoom is Donnie Schatz. Uh, Donnie Hanna, if you will. We learned that before the break. Donnie, um, one of the things that, that I just have really enjoyed, and I know you've enjoyed, is, is, is the family time you're having. And, and, and face it, we, we know there's been some health issues with your dad and everything. This has had to be just a, um, a, a weird time in the, your home, but boy, some quality time for you and your family. Absolutely, Steve. You know, we, you know pancreatic cancer is something that you just never know what's going to happen. Um, you know, we all know Johnny Gibson just lost his mom that was diagnosed not too long ago. Um, obviously, you just never know with it. You know, my dad's been in a very good spot. And with this whole thing happening, we've even had to discuss, hey, when, when we do go back racing, is it smart or safe for him to, to go and be a part of something he's been a part of his whole life? I, you don't know those things until uh, you cross that bridge. But if you was ever going to have a, a time to – to enjoy it, I guess you just make, you make the best of it. And that's what we've done. Um, yeah, there's been some hiccups along the way. I mean, uh, it's put a strain on every business in America, pretty much, even the ones that, uh, like ours that, that involve around truck drivers. So we've all had to kind of buckle down a little bit with certain things and try to, uh, come up with different solutions and different ways of doing things. And, uh, we've worked together probably more so than we have in the past as well. So, uh, it's been fun. Um, like I said, I, we took a took a bad situation and and uh, made it okay. You know, my dad always told me, "Don't worry about what you can't control." And uh, I couldn't make this this pandemic go away if I wanted to. If I could, I I would, but uh, I can't. So I uh, just got to to move on to something else, and uh, that we've done. And you mentioned it, Shots Crossroads, um, the truck stop that you have there. And earlier you shared with us that you've got a toter home stuck. So what does a day right now look like? I mean, obviously you're, you've got the toys out and you're playing with them. How do you end up getting a toter stuck? So we replace our stuff every couple of years. And, and we got a new t-shirt rig this year that has not been to the racetrack yet. And uh, we've had a lot of construction around here and moving things around. We don't like to leave and sit outside. So uh got a new building that doesn't have the concrete floor in it yet and i don't know we had this idea to make it in and she's so great uh, dad kind of likes that sort of stuff if something happens you just try to find a way around it and we were going to try pulling it out but it's just a typical monday uh, trying to you know move a and b to, to create c and here every day around here Oh my gosh, it is crazy. It is crazy. You uh, you mentioned it earlier, Donnie, um, and, and we actually had a picture of uh, of your your longtime crew chief, now he's Tony's crew chief, uh, Ricky Warner at the, with the sim ring. Have you done any of the, have you thought about, has the sim racing appealed to you at all or or not? So, you know, I do have a sim rig. It's, it's in Indianapolis where I have not been since that thing showed up and them guys at the shop had a great time with it. Um, Rick tried it. Um, you know, we, we hooked one up around here, made, made some makeshift stuff and, and my nieces have one and they play on all the time. I gotta be honest, Steve, I tried it. Um, it's not realistic. The feels not right. And I've always been a believer that, and I was a big gamer when I was a kid, but sometimes you can get stuck in a rut mentally and physically from, you know, thinking about those sort of things and, and the way you attack it. And I, I, I couldn't get on the racetrack without crashing. And I've worked with the world of outlaws. They, they have diligently tried to get me to do it. Um, you know, it, it's, there's a couple things about it that, that I, I don't agree with. I, I think it's a great idea. You know, the sim racing is great. They have went over and above to try to put it on TV uh, because there's nothing else going on, but we don't have TV any other time. So it's just, you know, I, I get what they're doing. I agree with it, but yet sometimes you have to have your reservations. It's not for me. Um, I tried it. There's a way that you can do yourself harm and embarrass yourself too, and that's something I'm not interested in doing. If I went to the racetrack every night and uh, had to run the C main to get to the B main to not get out of the B to the A, I don't think I'd be racing very long. So I don't know why I do it in the I racing league, but uh, every person in its own. Uh, I'm glad some people are staying active with it. Um, I have plenty of things keeping me busy, and I uh, just didn't want to get my mindset sinking to the level of, you know, how we can make things so simple to just 
uh, we can control this and control that because it's not really like that in the real world. It's get out and, and work hard, not hit reset when you something goes wrong or this or that. So um, I've tried it. I give it my valiant effort. Um, it just isn't for me. The kids enjoy it. It, it might be looking at it now. It's it's uh, really a cheap way to get someone started in racing and see if they can I race. But uh, I think I'm a little past that stage. Very, very great perspective. Um, you know, we've heard a lot of good things, and I love love your perspective on that, Donnie. So thanks for sharing that. But you mentioned in that that you've been that the World of Outlaws were trying to help you get on the sim racing. Let's talk real racing, and I don't expect you to divulge any information in this aspect, but have you been in touch with those guys of, of how the season might look once we get back racing? Um, are they looking to you for any, um, I don't, guidance, information, if you will, on your thoughts of what a schedule might look like once we get back racing? Well, this is kind of a funny topic for me. Um, you know, people think I've always had this great affiliation with them, and uh, believe me, no matter whether what business you're in, you're always going to find someone that, that disagrees with this or that, and I've had a lot of disagreements with them even you know not and just because of the fact that i stayed with them when the split happened in 06 or 07 whenever it was doesn't mean i've agreed with everything they've done and um they have reached out to me we've had more discussions in the last month or six weeks since this has happened i think anything right now to get back racing that, that is on the table for everybody whether it be racing with no crowds um, the schedule, I'm guessing, is going to have to be completely revamped because there's certain parts of the country that we're probably not going to be able to go to at all in 2020. I've always tried to look at the sport as uh, to, to, in everyone's involvement, not my own, for my own well-being. And I think that there's a lot of people that, that look at it that way. How can this benefit me? How can I you know, change this format for this? And uh, I never got into those discussions, and I'm not about to start now. But, um, yeah, it's, I think that um, I've never seen anybody – work as diligently and as hard as trying to get us back on the racetrack because it's their livelihood as well. So um, I'll, I'm going to stand behind them 100% no matter what they do. And hopefully they can, they can come up with a scenario where we can get back to this soon and safe and fast as possible. Soon and safe as fast as possible. We're going to end it on that because uh, that's what we're all looking for. Donnie, we wish you the best getting the toter out. And uh, we wish you the best on everything else, but we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us here on Wing Nation. Hey, thank you, guys. There we go. Donnie Shot, stay with us. More Wing Nation in just a moment. Power isn't born. It's built over time. For over 65 years, Hercules Tires has been providing the muscle to move more drivers. Whatever the vehicle, whatever the terrain, and we back it with a powerful protection plan. So wherever the road or the trail takes you, we have the selection, value, and strength to get you there. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. presented by sage fruit it is your time of the week it's time to tweet your seat and it's none other than the open wheel national at park jefferson international speedway this past weekend the tweets come from dave doug craig jose jj and eric saturday night park jefferson international speedway in south dakota we are finally back racing maybe a few weeks till we get another race but brock zier foss Pennsylvania guy got off his porch and went the whole way to the other side of the coast um, for a little bit of sprint car racing. He was followed by Kerry Madsen, Austin Macaro, Ian Madsen, and Shannon Tankersley. Uh, early on the program, we had Donnie Shots, and social media Donnie Shots has been, well, he has been fun on the Twitter account. That is for sure. And he shared his philosophy with it uh, earlier on. But uh, it all started when this shutdown first happened, and here is Donnie. And the dogs describing not going anywhere. Coming at you from Fargo, North Dakota here. Got a few extra guests. Yep, we're all coronavirus free. But it's out there and we're shut down. Nothing I can do about it. I don't like it. I know nobody else likes it either. But when you got every major sporting series and, and sporting event in the country shutting down to keep this and keep the people safe, all I can do is take their advice and go along with it. I hate to see us not be proactive. So the best thing I can do is stay put right here. After a couple weeks, 
maybe we'll get the great opportunity and fortune to go back racing full time and everything go back to life as normal. So I advise you to do the same thing. And then, then you bring in Ricky Warner. So we know the whole sim world and, you know, Donnie touched on his sim racing abilities or lack of, but uh, Ricky Warner, he um, chose why he chose to be a crew chief because he's got this thing all set up. We know Donnie Schatz is a racing champion, and we'll show you later he is a top flight chef. Uh, didn't realize he's a pinball wizard. Look at this. Winning at pinball. How about that? And apparently it looks like he got himself into a little bit of trouble here. Uh, mouth all taped up with that good old blue painter's tape there and a little Kenny Rogers. She got to know when to hold him. No one to hold them, no one to fold them. Looks like the Shots family is having a pretty good time here. Look at this RC setup here. Quite the video setup for uh, for the family, and they're out there racing. Looks like Donnie is refereeing all of the action here. Uh, looks like the Shots found the Shots place on a Saturday night is a pretty good spot to be if you're going to be locked down. And speaking of still being locked down, by golly, I want some concrete countertops. These things turned out beautiful, and it looks like he had the family involved with this too. And finally, here he is, Donny Hanna. Ladies and gentlemen, this social distancing thing has put me in a position where I'm craving teppanyaki. Can't go get any, so we got the next best thing. Donny Hanna! And there you have Twitter, the tweet your seats and Social media darling, Donnie Shot. Stay with us. More Wing Nation in just a moment. Hey, Ashley, what are you up to? Oh, I just stopped by to grab some sage fruit apples. Now I just have to decide which ones. You can never go wrong with a Honeycrisp. They're light, crisp, and full of perfectly balanced flavor. Oh, hey. You could always go with one of their classics, the Gala or Fuji. They're both sweet and juicy. Grown in the heart of Eastern Washington, Sage Fruit Company works hard on the farm and with their retail partners to provide high quality apples and pears to consumers all year long. Well, I couldn't decide which ones. Thanks for the help, guys. I'll race you to check out. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit here on MAV-TV. Always had fun when Johnny, Johnny Schatz joins us. He joined us on the Hercules Tire Hotline. And our friends at Hercules Tire have their spring rebate going on. Yeah, you can count on Hercules Tires to have your back when times are tough, all while adding money to your pocket. That's right. The purchase of four quality Hercules Tires through May 31st could get you up to a $70 Visa prepaid car. Visit HerculesTires.com dash spring rebate. That's HerculesTires.com dash spring rebate. Hercules Tires ride on our strength. Ashley Scrimmie and Steve Post here. And uh, Ashley, I did get out to a racetrack this past weekend. I saw that. Oh did you get to see race cars? Yeah, well, uh, well, okay, yes and no. Okay, it was 311 Motor Speedway. Our buddies in McLean's were, they had got the racetrack and they were going to go test. Now, I was going no matter what because I needed a road trip. I needed to get out of the house, okay? And so I get out, as I'm going, it's raining and raining and raining, and I'm figuring, well, nothing's going to happen. And sure enough, I pulled in there and most of the cars had left. They had, they had, uh, they had 10, a max of 10. I don't know how many were actually there, but two guys were actually there. And they actually worked the track in, and I got to see a couple of sprint cars around a sloppy dirt track, just <laughs> laps, and I was a happy camper. So simple things, simple things. It doesn't take much at this point to make me happy, and it was cool, cool being at the racetrack. Well, Steve, I am actually getting to go this weekend as well. We are going to do some testing ourselves. Um, I'm not usually one to go to a test, but I'm like you. I'm ready to get out of the house. I'm ready to get to the racetrack, so I'm going to the test this weekend. <laughs> no doubt. So we got to get out to the racetracks, and hopefully soon, sooner rather than later, we'll get to real racetracks for real racing. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Hey, we appreciate Donnie Schatz for joining us here on the program, but more important than all of that, thank you for joining us here on Wing Nation, presented by Sage Group. Yeah.